more brain search on Nick. Welcome back to Brain Search. I'm still Jeff, and congratulations to these four brainiacs for making it to this level. How was that chair ride? Good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was good stuff, awesome. right? Yeah, you were, you were definitely enjoying it. Let's get some more questions and answers, shall we? Matthew, tell me a little bit more about your unusual hairstyling technique. Well, one day I didn't have any product, so I borrowed some lotion, stuck it outside the car window on 101, and it actually worked. And people have said it looked nice. Yeah, I see no problem with that. I mean, dogs love it. Am I right? Mm-hmm. There you go. Awesome. Nice job. Claire, tell me about your elephant collection. I have like a hundred and I've been collecting since second grade. A hundred? Where do you keep these elephants? In um, a trunk? Get it? Trunk? No, anyone. No. Great. Awesome. Wait, these aren't real elephants, are they? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I was way off. Thank you very much, Claire. Good luck with that elephant collection. Kanoe! Okay, so you were hula dancing in front of 700 people. Tell me what happened. Well, I, I went on stage, and then I was dancing, and then my skirt fell off. Like, it, it dropped right to the floor. How'd you recover from that? I had to keep on dancing, and then people had to come out and help me put on my skirt again. Maybe, maybe no one noticed. Wait, maybe, you never know. You never know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just keep it a secret between me and you. You got it. All right? Okay. Okay. Nathaniel! Word on the racing circuit is that you accidentally did some extreme go-kart riding. Yeah, well, I was at a party, and there was just a lot of kids there and a lot of cooler kids, so I was just trying to show off by making a U-turn. And, well, the U-turn really didn't go that well, so I just hit the wall and right. crashed. All right, well, it was, uh, sounds like you were definitely the hit of the party then. Mm-hmm. Yes, all right, very good. Good luck with that. Thank you. Can't wait until he gets his license. Enough of the chit chat, let's get to the gameplay. Level two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm going to share with you a story from my big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. Have you guys read it? No? Don't worry about it. I'm going to read to you. On your feet, it's story time. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm going to tell you, because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions about it, all right? Now, remember, everything that I'm about to read you from this book is absolutely true. Believe it or not, I used to have a lot of phobias. Here are just a few things I had irrational fears of over the past few years. Small places, that started when my sister made me spend the night in her dollhouse. Heights, that's why I always sit in a beanbag chair. The dark, which is why I never blink. The water, it's so, so wet. Public speaking, just got over this three minutes ago. Flying, even frequent flyer miles freak me out. Fake snakes, for some reason, the real ones don't bother me at all. Spicy foods, all began with the jalapeno incident. Giants, my dad used to read me Jeff and the Beanstalk. Bananas, enough said. Dirty clothes, let them pile up and they'll take on a life of their own. Flying computers, come on guys, you know it's only a matter of time. Angry babies, sure, they're cute and adorable, but turn your back on them and look out! Sprinklers, can't we all just get along? Baby crocodiles, has anyone seen my hamster? Paper shredders, whatever happened to just throwing things out the normal way? Spaghetti, don't even get me started on linguine. Shopping, actually, all guys have a fear of this. Drains, I've seen what goes down them, including brains. And finally, the fear of having a ginormous head. Some fears aren't so irrational. That's my story, guys, and it's all true. All right, one at a time, I'm gonna ask you guys to just repeat one of the fears you heard from my list. To lock in the answer, have a seat. If you hear this, that means you're right. If you hear this, Claire, could you please demonstrate by having a seat? Oh, you're gonna wanna hang on for the ride. We're gonna keep doing that until we're down to two players. Are we clear? Matt, name a fear. Water. Water, have a seat. You got it. Stand up. Claire, over to you. Bananas. Bananas, have a seat. Very good. Kanoe. Fake snakes. Fake snakes, sit and hold. Very good. Nathaniel, over to you. Water. Water. Oh, hang on, buddy. Water was already said. Matt, over to you. 
Flying. Flying. Very good. Claire. Mm. Didn't need an answer. Time is running out. Um. Throw something out there. Anything? Oh, sorry, Claire. Have a seat. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> Matt Canoe, congratulations. <laughs> All right. It's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. I'm gonna kick it up a notch right here. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you're gonna stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to memorize this board, and that 10 seconds starts now. All right, did you guys get a good look? All right, Matt, start us off. What number is your first number? One and nine. One is his first, and? Nine. And nine. Let's get them off the board right now, and you can understand why I was afraid of those. Kanoe. Seven. Seven is her first number. And eight. And eight. You got yourself a match. Back to you, Matt. Give me your first number. Three. Three. And 11. And 11. It's a match. Kanoe. Ten. Ten. And 16. And 16. You got it. Matt, pressure's on. Fifteen. Fifteen. Five. And five. You got it. Kanoe, over to you. Four. Four. Thirteen. And thirteen. Oh, not a match. All right, guys. This means we are in sudden death territory. The next correct match moves on to the final round with the title Brain Surge Champion. Matt, what's your first number? Pick two. Wise. Two. Thirteen. And thirteen. Matt, you got yourself a match. You're today's Brain Surge Champion. Congratulations. You know, you played a great game, but you know what has to happen. Have a seat and hang on. Matt, congratulations. You're moving on to the final round a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a chance to get slime. Let's see what Nathaniel, Claire, and Kanoe won for making it this far. Congratulations, you've won tickets to Medieval Times. Inspired by an 11th century feast and tournament, guests are served a four-course medieval feast as they watch knights joust and display tests of skill. There's only one way out of here, and it is down the brain drain. Nathaniel, Claire, and Kanoe, are you guys... We'll see if Matt can find the paths to victory on level three. Don't go anywhere. Get ready, Kids Choice 2000.